you know, just a, a basic question. What are common signs of bed bug infestation and how can people confirm that indeed it is bed bugs that are the problem? Uh, well, a lot of times you don't see the bed bugs. Uh, if you have a, a very small infestation, you may not see the bed bugs. Uh, you may see other signs of the bugs. You may see the, particularly the fecal droppings, or the, the blood, uh, the, the bugs digest the blood meal and they'll leave staining on mattresses or surfaces where they've been resting. Uh, in many instances, and there's an example on, mm -hmm. I think that people are seeing now, that's mm -hmm. the staining that bugs will leave behind. And that's a very good sign that you've got bed bugs. Uh, some people will have reactions to the bites and they'll recognize that they have a problem based upon the based upon the bites. So there's a variety of, and again, there's a picture of, yeah. the, of the bites. So there's a variety of things you can look for um, you know, if the bed bug infestation is, is kind of small, if it's a large infestation, it's easy to spot. Yeah. Yeah, you want to look for all kinds of signs, like bite marks, that's the first thing you want to rely on. And then you also want to look for the shed skin or eggs. But usually they are hiding in the cracks and crevices, so you don't see them usually daytime. They come out at night and bite you and they go back. So yeah. you really rely on the black feckle material, those are blood dropping. The fat bugs, what they do is they feed on you, excrete some of your blood as a feckle material that leaves the black dots around their hiding places. Okay. That's what you want to look for. Okay. So if your mattress starts to look discolored and, and black dots, that's a pretty good sign that probably you have bed bugs. That's correct. Okay. Now we saw in one of those pictures a bed bug, the bites that they showed kind of look like a mosquito bite or maybe a flea bite. Do all people that get bitten by bed bugs exhibit these types of symptoms? There are 50-50 chance only half of the people to react bed bug saliva. What they, when they, what they do is that when they feed on you, they inject their saliva and your skin to react their protein. So that's why your skin is like reddish and that will cause a very excessive itching too. Mm -hmm. But only the other half of the people probably do not react at all. So you have to look for other signs of infestation in your home. Okay. And a lot of, um, like sometimes the pedi people go into the pediatrician's office because it does seem that children do seem to, their skin seems to react a little bit more, and they'll go into the pediatrician's office and say, you know, what are these bites? And really, a, a doctor can't tell by looking at the bites. They can't yeah. tell what it is. It could be any number of things that bite them. But what, some of the things that you do want to look for is it on exposed skin, so, you know, something that would come in contact with the bed bug. If they're wearing long pajamas with feeties and everything, then it won't be is easy for them to get bit. Yeah. Um, also, sometimes they'll come in a, a line. Um, the, the bites themselves will come in a line, so they'll bite and then, and then they'll move down a little ways and bite a little bit more. So you'll see this line, which you normally don't see with like mosquitoes and that yeah. kind of thing. Okay.